A motorhome recently stolen right from a couple's driveway has been found, but it's in a shambles. They bought it to enjoy during their retirement. Now police say the thieves had turned it in to a meth lab. Very sad story. Jasmine Arenas first reported the story has more now live from Lakeland. Jasmine, what do we know at this point? Good evening, Jim. While Lakewood police have not given the family or us any official information on this case, the Sondrips tell us they have an idea of who it might be based off of pictures they've received from viewers and information they received from another police department as well. Now, police have arrested that suspect for another auto theft incident. And tonight, the family tells us they just want that person behind bars. To get, have to get rid of that motorhome is just heartbreaking. We first brought you the story in early March when the family was asking for the community's help in locating their luxury RV home. Uh, we did have some people in Park County reach out to us uh, after they saw one of your news reports. The, they told us that uh, the people that stole it came in and asked for water to fill the water tanks up. They took pictures. They were suspicious. A week later, the vehicle was recovered at this storage facility in Inglewood, but the family's road to justice is far from over. Uh, we do have insurance on the motorhome. Unfortunately, uh, for the contents inside the motorhome, uh, we only have $5,000 worth of coverage. There was over $11,000 of, of personal property in the motorhome, so we're having to throw away everything that was in that motorhome. An initial at-home test for meth contamination came back negative, but after hiring a professional team to test the motorhome, they were warned the RV is considered a meth lab inside. And they told us uh, anybody that goes in that motorhome needs to be in a hazmat suit. Sandra and his wife had no clue and were both inside cleaning up the mess. Well, a little concerned of the contamination and the health issues. Now, that suspect is set to be in court tomorrow for a separate auto theft case. He seems to have an extensive criminal history, and the family expects to be at that court hearing for that other case tomorrow morning. In Lakewood, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First.